Blink IoT is a startup organization that uses the Internet of Things to create innovative and cost effective cloud based solutions. They have come up with Vela, a prototype cloud based biometric solution allowing access control and attendance register through facial recognition in the workplaces. Now, this system uses custom software, eco friendly, and can be converted to be powered by battery or solar. Vela integrates with the, the most existing uh, biometric systems that currently use fingerprint scanners and wants organizations to rethink their security access control and attendance register systems and opt for safer, touch-free facial recognition. But to tell us more, we're joined by the innovator of Vela and owner of Blink IoT, Bonele Luciti. And uh, we say good morning to him. Thank you so much for joining us, Bonele. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Take us through how the idea of Vela came about and how it works. Um, so the idea actually came about uh, last year, January. So it was before uh, the COVID outbreak. Uh, basically, um, there was, there's was there been a growth in the use of artificial intelligence uh, in many things. And facial recognition is actually one of them. So when the outbreak actually occurred uh, towards the end of last year, I then looked back at that idea and reworked it and I made it basically contactless just so that um, you don't stand the risk of actually um, transmitting the, uh, the virus via the device. So this is a safer, touch-free facial device. How will it be safer for people to use as opposed to the usual fingerprint biometric system? So the device itself, um, once you're registered on the platform, which is cloud-based, you then stand about 60 centimeters from the device for it to authenticate your face. So as soon as the AI recognizes your face, it then verbally says out your name. So it is completely uh, contact, it's completely contact free. Um, and it verbally reads out your name, which, which means you don't have to do anything post that. Um, and that really helps uh, currently because you can't really have a system where you need to put your finger on now uh, because that will require continuous cleaning uh, and continuous maintenance. So this is a much safer solution and it also provides organizations a way to, to give their employees peace of mind during this time. So it is a very, very viable solution. Uh, given the situation that we find ourselves in as a country and also just as the world. But uh, is it effective though? Because I would imagine so many people wear makeup and uh, would it recognize me yeah. if I'm wearing makeup? Yes, yes it does. Um, the only time that uh, the device does struggle is under uh, difficult lighting issues, but that's something that we've overcome completely. But uh, yeah, you can wear makeup uh, you can trim your beard. I know that doesn't happen often now, um, you know, with the bubble shops closed. Uh, but it does recognize you. The algorithm that it uses is purely based on your facial um, features, like your eyes, and also the, the distance between your nose and your eyes and the lower parts of your face. I um, mean, and it has worked perfectly without any issues. Um, so it is really like a viable solution for any organization currently that has a um, access control requirements or even attendance registry because the portal does provide um, exporting of the data whereby you can see what time did the person come in and then it will calculate the hours per day for each person for the month that they made use of the device. So it is a very viable solution that can even work with your um, payroll systems even. What about the fact that people undergo uh, facial transformation every, every now and then and the fact that people age? Yeah, well, that's actually the benefits of using AI instead of um, algorithms that don't take in, that into account. But, uh, you know, with the service that I use to actually do your facial recognition, uh, that's not really an issue. Um, facial recognition has actually been shown to be able uh, to, if, like, for example, um, someone has been abduct abducted and it's been like maybe a couple of years later since they've been um, been found, they don't, there's no photograph of them. But with artificial intelligence, it actually does take the time into account um, and it will still authenticate you and verify you, whether you've got makeup on, whether you've grown a beard, um, it actually works. So which types of organizations are you guys targeting for the use of Vela? So it's actually any company that's existing where the company is currently using a fingerprint scanner or even an access control card. 
So the issue with most access control cards is they use a technology called NFC, which in most cases, the card itself will have to touch the, the reader. So that's also a stress point for a lot of people currently. You know, people would rather just be completely contactless. Everything must just happen for them in a distance. Uh, and you'll find that even with delivery companies now, uh, they offer that kind of contactless service, delivery service, whereby they place the item at least, at least a bit far from you and you can then start uh, sanitizing it and cleaning it up. So that's exactly what the device offers. You can be up at least 60 centimeters away and it will still pick up your face automatically. So it is a very, very viable solution for almost any industry with um, with a high number of people that need to access a building or just for an, uh, for attendance registry. So is it engineered to separate, uh, you, know, you know, some issues when it comes to uh, resemblance, when people uh, look almost the same, for, for, for instance, identical twins? So does it make that yeah. kind of difference? So I think the identical twin is the only edge case on the device. Um, it does try to uh, identify people being by different shades, but identical twins have been so far the only edge case. So as part of your registration on the portal, you have to indicate if you have an identical twin, because then we have to flag you and then maybe possibly find other means of authenticating you. But um, the, the ratios of twins in South Africa or the, the stats on twins is actually quite low. Um, but yeah, if you do have a very, very, very identical twin, then that is the only edge case that device uh, cannot cover. Okay. Now, this is a startup that specializes in the use of artificial intelligence. So just how important is AI in yeah. this day and age? It is very, very important, um, I should speak, uh, because uh, as we all know, the fourth industrial revolution has begun. Um, it's at times like these where you realize the impact that uh, an AI could have had in a lot of industries. You know, if you had robotics uh, doing a lot of the work in your factories, you would hardly need to be as closed down as most companies. Uh, and AI has been used currently in many different things. This includes drone technology. Um, automated uh, cars, self-driving cars, and with 5G now having been launched in South Africa, it is actually a viable um, technology, you know, AI, because most of the time AI is cloud-based, but with high-speed data that we have now with 5G, it really, really is viable, and there's no better time to actually adopt any technology that uses artificial intelligence now, especially with the pandemic in effect. So I would imagine there's no reason for anyone to not get into this technology now um, and, and not only become an early adopter of it, but also start experiencing the benefits of it because there's really nothing that's stopping companies from using this. And in companies that are developed like China, uh, facial recognition is used for everything now, for payments, for trains. So you could imagine even in the cloud chain, who will start becoming being careful of placing cards everywhere. Um, and you don't want to have an, another item that you have to worry about sanitizing nowadays, you know. So it really, really is a time to adopt all these available technologies. Um, and there was an article that was released last year, actually, in March, that spoke about why is Africa not adopting facial recognition? Um, and I read that article, and as soon as I saw it, that's when I really got the bigger um, motivation to really focus on this and make a product out of it. And how affordable will this system be for organizations who would like to use it? It is very, very affordable. Um, our details, I hope uh, they've been shown on the on the. Um, on the TV, but uh, it is a very, very viable option. You can email us at sales at Blink IoT for more details, but um, it is either available as a full-on purchase of the device or as a monthly rental. So there are a lot of different options for it, and it does really work for many, many different industries. So is this an idea that you, you came up with ages ago, or was it simply in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which of course requires, discourages people uh, from uh, being in contact with so many objects? Yeah, so um, the very first version of the device actually required contact um, in the form of a button that you had to press to trigger it, to scan your face and basically do the verification. So I then responded to the COVID um, 
uh, outbreak by making it completely contactless. So before, it didn't actually talk to verbally say out your name. So now it does actually verbally say out your name. Um, and also, instead of having to press a button, as soon as you get close to, to, uh, to the device, it scans your face automatically. So uh, it was an idea that I started working on, <clears throat> sorry, that started working on last year beginning of the year, but um, as th this virus developed, um, I then re refactored or redesigned uh, the idea to make it more suitable for the current environment that we find our uh, ourselves in. All right, Bonnet, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much uh, for chatting to us this morning. Awesome. Thank you for having me, and God bless you guys. Thank you. That was Bonnet Lelusiti talking to us about Vela, a prototype cloud-based biometric solution allowing access control and attendance register through facial recognition in the workplaces.